So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a brand new game to the channel today. This is Prehistoric Hunt. Now Prehistoric Hunt is exactly what it sounds like. It is a dinosaur hunting game. Now it may not be the most realistic in terms of graphics etc but it is a lot of fun and I have really been enjoying my time so far with this game. Now this video is basically going to be me talking about my first experiences with this game and also my first trophies in this game. So before we get into it, just to give a little bit of an explanation, all dinosaurs have a medal in this game, which goes bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and legendary. So legendary is the absolute best you can get, and bronze is the smallest you can get. But on top of that, there are also rare, rare variations, basically. You can get the common variations for each dinosaur then you can get what is called rares now rares in this game are more like uncommons then there are albinos and melanistics the albinos and the melanistics are the actually really rare ones so if you can get albinos and melas that's the best but albinos are overall the absolute rarest so it goes in that order it goes common rare melanistic albino and obviously bronze silver gold diamond and legendary so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the first trophies that i actually managed to get in this game and we're starting off with this beautiful gallimimus now when i saw this gallimimus i thought it looked different i wasn't exactly sure what it was i was thinking could it be maybe a melanistic I just knew it looked different. I wasn't sure maybe if it was just a rare variation. As I said, rares are actually like the uncommons in this game. It's a little bit confusing. But I just knew that this one looked different. And it was quite odd as there are contracts you can do in this game to earn money. And the contract I was doing was to hunt the dinosaur that was pinpointed on the tracking device that I had in my hand. And it was actually this particular Gallimimus that had been selected by the game for me to go and hunt down. Now I've done many of these missions. They don't normally just give you a rare to go and hunt. So I got pretty lucky with this. See, you can see the tracking device there in my hand and it's pinpointing that particular Gallimimus. Now that first shot I made wasn't great and I have to admit there's going to be a lot of not so great shots in this video. I am still very much new to the game and learning but as he walked towards me again there I managed to get a better shot and as it starts running away managed to get a couple more shots and eventually it drops. Now I wasn't sure if that second shot as it was fleeing away that actually hit. Well I guess it would have been technically the third shot but out of that little group of shots as it was running away wasn't sure that that one actually hit. Obviously I saw the last one impact but I wasn't sure about the other one if it just hit behind it. But taking a look at this guy on the ground and I said I think that has to be a melanistic and picking him up it is a melanistic gallimimus. Now I could either fill the contract here that I actually had to do or tax this dino as there is actually a trophy lodge in this game which is awesome. So I decided that I would fail the contract and actually tax this beautiful melanistic, my first actually like rare animal in this game. So I was super, super happy to actually get this. Like I said, the melanistics and the albinos are the ones you really want to find. Now, this may have been big enough to be a diamond being a large specimen but at this point I didn't really understand how the metal system actually works and it turns out that the metal system it's more akin to say the star hunt rating system in way of the hunter it's more about the actual hunt than the animal itself it seems it's things like getting high integrity uh, long shot bonuses um, bonuses for using a difficult weapon it's a lot of different bonuses that actually contribute to getting that higher medal so that's something i will work towards in future but at the moment and in this video i'm just super happy to be finding some actually rare trophies to take to put into my lodge and a really cool thing in this game is whenever you complete a contract or you tax a dino to go to your trophy lodge a helicopter actually comes and picks it up which i think is just a really neat little detail so that was pretty awesome and I was super excited to get my first actually cool cool dino in this game. Now this was an interesting encounter. Here we have a few Utah Raptors. Now I was just basically hip firing the rifle here, not aiming down the sights 
just trying to get these things off of me. As you can see, you do have health in this game. And I did end up dropping two of them and then unfortunately dying. So I was returning to the scene of my death to go and collect the ammo and equipment that I had lost. As that is something that will happen in this game. When you die, you do drop stuff. So you do want to return to your death site to go and pick up anything that you've dropped. And almost back at the same place, I found the last of those three raptors still alive. Now, I was panicking here, completely forgot that I don't have the automatic reload on, so when I died, I didn't get my gun reloaded. And I basically just took a couple of very quick shots here to just try and kill this thing. Managed it with only 18 health left, and I picked it up, and it's a diamond. So this was my first ever diamond in Prehistoric Hunt. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, diamond isn't the highest medal you can get. Legendary is the highest medal you can get. However, getting a diamond is a pretty exciting thing. I was super happy with this. Diamonds don't seem extremely hard to find, but they are definitely much harder to find than golds, etc. So this was a really neat surprise that this raptor that I basically shot to protect myself on the way back to go and pick up my equipment that I'd lost when dying to some other Utah Raptors. Yeah, I ended up getting a diamond and I assume this was the last of the three from that particular little pack but maybe it wasn't. But either way, I was super happy. Now, you can see a few okay shots, and you will have just seen um, me take a look at all of the, the bonuses, etc. you can get that increase the chances of you getting a diamond by increasing all of those percentages. And it's kind of crazy. Like I said, it feels like the medal is more like the hunt rating, kind of, and that the uh, score is more like the actual score and, and that's more of the animal, but it's kind of difficult to understand. Hopefully at some point they'll improve that system a little bit, because I would like to see a system where it's just based on the animal size rather than a load of bonuses. But returning to those two raptors that I killed that then killed me, and you can see picking up the first one of the two that was led on the ground next to my dead body. And we have a rare, large diamond male. Now, like I said, rare is basically uncommon. So that's an uncommon diamond Utah Raptor. Super happy. Basically just shot that other one and then got to my body, which was only like another 200-ish meters away, I think. And then I had another diamond. That was really awesome and had no idea that either of them was going to be a diamond. So that was really cool. Now the last of those three raptors that I had killed ended up just being a gold. But out of that pack, basically, and I'm pretty sure it was the same pack that they came from, ended up getting two diamonds. So pretty happy with that. Now you'll actually see me here playing with Killer Kai, or Kyla as you may know her, and I will definitely give her a shout out down in the description, so please go and check out her channel, as we have been having an awesome time playing this game together. And as you see, we were both getting attacked by Utah Raptors, and I end up with another uncommon diamond, or a rare diamond as they're called in this game. That was, again, completely unexpected, but super cool. I really like the rare skin for the Utah Raptors. It looks really pretty. And I actually like the models for these guys as well. They're really quite cool looking. Like I said, not necessarily the most realistic, but I like them. And I actually didn't have enough money to tax this at the time. So I had to go and do a contract to get some money and then have to come back and claim this thing so that I could actually tax it. So that was interesting. Now, whilst I was actually on my way to do that contract to get the money to claim that previous Utah Raptor and send it over to my lodge and tax it, basically, I ended up finding this Anki. Now, I shot it basically because I didn't want to get attacked. And after I'd killed it, I looked at it and thought, that looks really, really dark, actually, in comparison to a normal Anki. And I pick it up and it's a melanistic. And I was super, super happy to get this. A melanistic gold. Now, from what I've learned, I think maybe this also had a chance at being a diamond because I only got 82% integrity and it was a large melanistic male. And I think maybe if I'd got better hits on it, it may have been a diamond. But melanistics, like I said, they're not as rare as albinos. I have seen and heard of more melanistics being shot than albinos. So I hope that eventually I might get a chance at getting a diamond one of these. But for now, 
again, super happy just to have a melanistic for the lodge. And like I said, the medal seems like more of a, a hunt rating sort of thing at the moment than anything to do with the actual score and size of the animal. And I, like I said, I really would like it if they changed that system and removed all of the bonuses and it was more about... I don't mind getting clean shots and keeping integrity and stuff, but I don't like the idea of long shot bonuses and difficult weapon bonuses, etc. affecting the actual medal of the animal. To me, that doesn't make a lot of sense. But a beautiful, beautiful looking Anki. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. The sort of underbelly with those like tiger stripes. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see the helicopter here coming and picking him up to take him to my trophy lodge. That is going to be a pretty cool one to put into the trophy lodge. Now, once again, whilst running around, ended up getting attacked by another Utah Raptor, which I managed to drop with one shot, so I was super happy with that, as my shooting is getting slowly but surely a little bit better. And this was a diamond. Now, this is interesting because you can see that scale is medium. So this isn't a small male or a large male. This is a medium size Utah Raptor, but it's still made diamond. And I think that is because I got 100% integrity and I got a heart shot bonus, which you can see there in the score modifiers. It's so confusing with the score modifiers. I'm still trying my best to learn, as I said. So if that other Anki and the Gallimimus could have maybe been melanistic diamonds, I am very sorry, but I'm still very much learning. I've not got a whole lot of time in this game yet, and I'm at the moment still grinding for better weapons, for better money, and trying to just get to a better position in order to be able to take some of the other, these animals with higher integrity bonuses and, you know, some of the other bonuses like the long shot bonus. At the moment, I've only got the, the rifle with the very beginning scope. It's not the best. So maybe once I've, you know, got some more money, bought the better equipment, maybe then I'll start to get more things like more melanistic diamonds, etc. Now here you can see me taking down a Brachiosaurus and managed to drop it there with a few shots from the revolver. This revolver is the best weapon I have in the game at the moment and it's pretty good compared to the beginning rifle. But as you'll see, we have a rare diamond Brachiosaurus here. How cool is that? I love the Brachiosaurus in this game. I just am drawn to them just because they are so huge. And I think it's cool to see a huge dino like this in a hunting game. And you can see mostly lung shots there with one stomach shot. But it is a large diamond rare. Or, like I said, more like an uncommon. But still, that's going straight to the trophy lodge. And it's interesting, basically the Brachiosaurus in the lodge are displayed as like a big head because you can't put the full size thing in the lodge but it's just like a big head on either a wall mount or like a plinth and they still look really really awesome and i thought this one looked a little bit different you can see it's got kind of like red markings going down its back almost in sort of a stripey pattern and i thought that looked a little bit different which is why again i wanted to come and shoot this because one it was a brachiosaurus and two it looked a little bit different and you'll see there the helicopter coming to pick this up and take it over to my trophy lodge which i still think is really really cool to actually see now for the final trophy of this video and by far my best trophy so far in this game this is a carnotaurus now the carnotaurus are one of the bigger dinos in this game and I hadn't been very good at actually killing them until I got the revolver and as that one charged me I thought okay I should hopefully be able to take it down. I saw the blue eyes and thought why do you have blue eyes? The, the other ones don't normally have blue eyes do they? And I pick it up and it's a melanistic diamond Carnotaurus. How cool is that? I really wasn't expecting this to just charge me. I was tracking a Gallimimus, which it was actually trying to eat. And I was tracking that Gallimimus for a contract. And then this thing sees me, charges me. And like I said, the first thing I noticed was those bright blue eyes. And I just thought they don't normally have those beautiful blue eyes. And then, yeah, taking a look at it, it is a darker colour. And I just didn't notice it straight away because of it still being quite low light. I couldn't believe what I just shot. 
Now, like I said, melanistics aren't the rarest thing that you can actually get in the game. Like I said, it is albinos that are the rarest. But melanistic is just before the albino in terms of rarity. So this is pretty awesome. And I think it probably made diamond because one, I got 100% integrity. And two, I managed to hit heart in that second shot. That first shot was rubbish. Second shot hit heart and that's why he went down so quickly. And I do believe that that is because of the bonus for heart shots. That's probably what pushed him up to the diamond medal so that was really awesome and yeah i didn't expect to get that last night as i was looking for a couple more clips for this video pretty darn cool and of course sending him straight to the trophy lodge what an awesome thing so cool to actually get a rare predator just awesome just awesome really really cool i'm so happy with that but that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of Prehistoric Hunt from watching this video. And if you'd like to see more content on this game on the channel. Because I'm certainly down to go and look for more Melanistics, Albinos. Try and get a Legendary at some point. That would be cool, I think. So yeah, let me know what you think. But once again, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.